Hi everyone, welcome to Learn How to Chinese. I'm your host Vienna, and in this video, I will share five interesting facts about Chinese currency, also known as RMB. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? We are a team dedicated to helping you learn Mandarin Chinese and interesting Chinese culture. If you like our videos, please share them with your friends and family. Have you ever seen RMB in person? The first series of RMB was printed in 1948, a year before the People's Republic of China was established. For this reason, this series didn't have the country's emblem printed it on it. RMB paper bills are colorful and they tell stories about Chinese people. So far, there are a total of five series of RMB. The first three series of RMB tell stories about revolution and social unity. During that time period, the country was in a difficult time, dealing with internal and external conflicts. In the 1970s, the situation changed. The country made adjustments to its political direction, and it was the beginning development of the Chinese economy. The fourth series of RMB highlights the beauty of China as a multi-ethnic country, and the fifth series is what we are using now. The first series of RMB was released by the People's Bank of China in 1948. There were 12 different values and 62 versions. During that time, China was experiencing serious inflation due to the political instability. The highest value of RMB was 50,000 RMB. No kidding. Today, the highest value in China is 100 RMB. It was 500 times more compared to today's currency. You can imagine the difficult situation people had to deal with on a daily basis. People had to carry thousands of RMB just to buy a pack of matches. Next, compared to the highest values 50,000 RMB in the first series, the highest value for the second and the third series is 10 RMB. In other words, the value of 50,000 RMB was only worth 5 RMB when the second series of RMB was released. Now, look at the print. You see a group of people standing in the front. They represent Chinese people with different backgrounds. A scholar, a farmer, blue-collar worker, and governor. This print has a nickname, and is translated into a big unity. Our Chinese people call it 大团结. The message is all about people belonging to the same social class, and they can all be involved in politics. More interesting fact in the third series is that there are five written languages besides Chinese characters, and they are Mongolian, Uyghur, Tibetan, Zhuang, and Hanyu Pinyin, which many of you are using to learn Mandarin Chinese. My favorite currency is the fourth series, because the focus was no longer on politics, but the beauty of China. You can see that each paper bill captures two minorities on the front, and a beautiful landscape on the back. In China, there are 55 minorities plus the Han nation, which accounted for about 91% of Chinese population. Let's take a look at the minorities on each paper bill. Gao Shan Zhu, Man Zhu, Tu Jia Zhu, Chao Xian Zhu, Miao Zhu, Zhuang Zhu, Dong Zhu, Yao Zhu, Wei Wu Er Zhu, Yi Zhu, Zhang Zhu, Hui Zhu, Alright, moving on. As you already know, RMB has changed five times under the leadership of People's Republic of China. Imagine Chinese people having to adjust to new currencies five times in around 60 years. It could be confusing for some people. It is especially true for the fourth and the fifth series of RMB, since their designs are similar. For example, the back of both series of currency highlights the beauty of various Chinese landscapes. In 1999, when the fifth series of RMB was released, while the fourth series was still in circulation, some people get confused between 10 RMB in the fifth series and 50 RMB in the fourth series. The confusion was because both prints had water features on the back. One is Hu Kao Pu Bu and the other one is Changjiang Sanxia. However, Chinese people quickly get used to the new prints. Last, 
the latest series of RMB at 20 RMB, but at the same time, cancelled 2 RMB. Adding 20 RMB is to help leverage the heavy use between 10 RMB and 50 RMB. It is necessary because things are getting more and more expensive due to the inflation caused by the growing economy in modern China. That's all for today. I'm sure there are more interesting facts about RMB. We would like to hear from you, so leave us a message if you know or discover something cool about RMB. Happy learning! Bye!